All right, hello, lovelies and friends. Um, this is just gonna be like a short vlog to kind of explain what had happened. Cause I know I've been posting on social media about my car being dead and having blown out tires and all that stuff. And then also rest in peace my car. And there was a whole story about this. I'm gonna start from the very beginning just so that I can stop getting so many questions. Like this vlog is basically going on my YouTube channel and also being sent to like a bunch of my friends so that people know and they'll stop asking me questions because I don't got all the, cause like, I don't want to repeat like the same answers the same questions like 20 different times because that's kind of what's been happening. So here's the story. So uh, three days ago now, uh, th yes, three days ago now, um, I was out with some friends, you know, we were having a good time and all that stuff. And I had to go home and all that. So I'm driving home and I had to take an exit to get onto the highway. And I don't know what happened, but somehow, somehow, my, like, I don't know if, like, I hit something or what, but while I was taking the turn, I took it slightly too hard and actually spun it out of control, hit the guardrail, um, hard enough my glasses to fly off, actually. I'm surprised the airbags didn't get deployed. It was, it was a good hard hit, um, and, like, basically slammed into that, and I had kept on dri kept on driving for a little bit, got my glasses back, um, I had to pull over the side of the road to get them because I, I was fucking blind as shit. Like, I basically drove from the exit onto the highway blind as fuck. Thankfully, it was, like, once you got off the exit, it went, if you kept going straight, it would go on to another exit. So, I didn't have to worry about merging because, oh my god, I would have been fucked. Um, but no, so, you know, I was like, okay, maybe I can keep driving. Maybe I can get, like, off the highway before, like, I go examine what happened to my car. No. Not at all. I could not. I could not drive whatsoever. So I had actually get on the side of the road again. I examined what happened. I had one flat tire and one shredded tire. Like it was gone. It was just straight up gone. I was like, oh fuck. So I called my dad. I called AAA. I uh, had to wait an hour for AAA A to get there. So I'm. It's 11 at night. It's raining. I'm on the side of the road waiting for my dad, my boyfriend, and AAA to all get there. And I'm just sitting there being like the fuck just happened? Uh, no, I am 100% calm this entire fucking time. Like, I did not actually flip out this entire time somehow. I don't know how. I kept it together for, like, the longest time. So, um, I'm, I'm just kind of sitting there on the phone with AAA. My boyfriend gets there, thank God. Um, so he kind of examines the tires with me, and he's just like, yeah, that tire's fucked. And I'm like, thanks, Captain Obvious. My dad arrived shortly after, and uh, along with uh, roadside assistance, actually. So roadside assistance is with us, put some cones around us so that we don't have to worry about, god damn it, hair. We don't have to worry about, like, you know, cars being jackasses and then hitting someone on the side of the road, a.k.a. one of us three. Um, so, yeah, an hour passes. Um, well, actually, no, before that happened, before an hour passed, like, uh, roadside assistant gave me a water bottle, uh, my boyfriend gave me a blanket because it was cold out at that point, and that's when I just broke, I just lost it, I literally just broke down in tears because I was like, what the fuck just happened, like, I just gra crashed my fucking car, so I'm breaking down, eventually, uh, AAA comes, my dad just mostly talking because I'm just sitting there being like, I don't want to be here anymore, I just wanted to go home and sleep, um, so we follow AAA to the auto shop. Um, we're checking out my car, and the guy's just like, "You fucked this thing up good." And I'm like, "Thanks, my dude. Thanks." Uh, so we're there for a little bit, checking all the damage, um, and we didn't realize how bad it was that night. So the next day comes, and we get a call from them from the auto shop, and they're just like, "Okay, yeah. So this is what happened to your car." Um, basically, the wheel, like, the physical wheel, not the tire, okay? Not, like, the tire rim. No, 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 The physical, like, wheel where the suspension is was fucked. So they were like, yes, we gotta replace that. Um, we gotta, like, fix the suspension. We gotta fix a few other things. We gotta get you new tires, because both of them were fucked. And so we're like, okay, we thought that was only it. So it was, like, $900 for all of that. We get a call this morning. So this is three days later. Um, we were supposed, I was supposed to get it yesterday. They didn't have it done by then. Uh, so I get the call this mo so we get a call this morning and they're like, so we found out your entire like front car is shifted. So to the point where it's like you have to go to a body shop to get this thing fixed. And they were telling us all this other stuff they discovered, and they're like, to be honest, 
it isn't worth it. You're going to sink way too much money into fixing this. So, so that's why I like when I text my message or not message, but posted the whole, my car declared total at 937. That was when I found, that's when we found out that my car, they basically had said, yeah, no, like it's undrivable. Like unless you want to sink a shit ton of money into this piece of shit, it's undrivable. Like you, we, we can't, we can't fix, we can't like completely fix it without like a big fee. So my car is now officially totaled. I thought I was just two blown out tires. Nope. It got 100% fucked up and the thing is is that well, I can't remember exactly what happened just because um because if you get into a crash there's like there's a likely chance that you forget like a small portion of like the physical crash because everything's happening so fast that you can't process it all and since I didn't have my glass at the time I couldn't even see what the fuck was going on so I thought I'd just hit the rail and then straight and then somehow straighten myself out and got on the road no apparently i like, we're thinking I might have actually skid on the rail for a little bit before I straightened myself out. But we don't know because I don't remember. I don't remember and I couldn't see. So, rest in peace, my 2005 Dodge Stratus. You were a piece of shit, but you were my piece of shit and you will be missed. So right now I'm trying to fix my grandpa's car um, to see if that's drive if we can drive that in the meantime. Because I I can't have two jobs and no car. Because I know my mom needs her car in the afternoon. In the afternoon, I know my dad's getting his car, um, so it's gonna be a fun next few weeks for me. So yeah, that's the story of my car. That's all what happened. Um, if I didn't answer any questions, do feel free to ask. I'm pretty sure I answered everything though that people have been asking me of like what happened, how totaled is your car? It's totaled. It's fucked. It's super, like I have to go to a body shop to fix it. It's fucked. Um, thankfully, the guy that was um, that fixed it and all that, or that was fixing it and all that stuff, he only had us, after we found out how total it was, he only had us pay for, like, the actual, like, wheel wheel, because he couldn't get, he couldn't do anything with it otherwise, so he's like, okay, so just pay 300 for this, um, I'm gonna give you some old tires, so, um, because it may be a little drivable, and by a little, I mean drivable enough to, like, donate it, <laughs> donate it for parts, um, so, yeah, that, that's, yeah, I fucking hate everything right now. Okay, so I've talked about this long enough. Again, if you have any more questions, uh, definitely just comment, message me. I don't know what platform all this is going on, but just, just ask whichever way you can. I'll try my best to answer. It's, I, I don't know what else you have to ask at that point. No, I cannot give you my car. There, there's a question I can answer. Okay, anyways, bye.